Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we're going to assemble Honor 8X Max. First of all, we need to remove the car tray. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the car tray. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, we use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. Please note that our phone has been disassembled before us so your experience may be different. As always, we need to be careful around the cameras and around the fingerprint sensor, as the fingerprint sensor itself is located on the back cover, and the cable from the fingerprint sensor goes to the motherboard. So, after detaching the back cover, we can carefully lift it up and turn it over so as not to damage the fingerprint sensor cable. We turn the cover over and we need to use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash 3 o to unscrew one screw, remove the bracket with a non-metallic tool and disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector itself and take the back cover aside. So we disconnect the connector, remove the cover to the side, as you can see we have the fingerprint sensor on the back cover. After that we move on to unscrewing the screws. For this we use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5mm or Phillips hash trio. If the screws are badly unscrewed we can use a magnetizer, if the screws get stuck we can use tweezers. It is better to place the screws on a special surface in a certain order because the screws we have are different in color and possibly in size. And we continue to unscrew the screws, we unscrew the screws at the bottom. Please note that one of the screws may be hidden by a warranty sticker. Don't forget to remove all the screws, because the remaining screw will interfere with the middle core detachment. And after that we can proceed to detaching the middle core. To do this we use a thin tool inserted into the gap between the middle core and the display frame and gently run it along the edge of the middle core detaching it. We need to be very careful of the corners, as the core is held tightly there. And we need to be careful not to damage the display edge. So we detach the middle core and we need to disconnect the battery connector. To do this we need to detach the connector bracket. We carefully detach it and put it aside and disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. After that, we can disconnect the connectors on the boards and remove the interboard cable. Then we can detach the loudspeaker. We find the right place, hook it, flip and remove the speaker to the side. Then we disconnect the coaxial cable connector and move on to detaching the subboard. We also find the right place where we can gently hook lift and remove the subboard. The subboard contains the microphone, charging port, headset port and other elements on the back side. 
In our traditionally quick test of the microphone hole, the microphone hole has an L shape. The microphone hole is located perpendicular to the microphone hole on the subboard. If we insert anything into the microphone hole, we can't damage the microphone in this way. And please note that the microphone hole is protected by a membrane in the display frame. And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable, we disconnect the connector of the display cable. And we can detach the RP speaker. We carefully hook the edge and lift and remove the speaker. After that we can detach the camera. We gently hook the edge, lift it out and put it aside. After that we can disconnect the two rear cameras. Hold them slightly so that the cameras don't fly out and we don't damage anything. We detach them, put them aside. After that we need to disconnect another connector of the cable to the side buttons. It has a small lock which we need to snap off. And we can detach the motherboard. As always we find the right place where we carefully lift and remove the motherboard. The motherboard, as you can see on the back side, can be held in place by thermal paste. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally for Huawei or Honor, we have three brown tabs with the numbers 1, 2 and 3. Those tabs which are located on the edges we need to turn to the side as much as possible. And the tab which is located in the middle we need to gently pull up to remove the battery. It is important to unfold the tabs so that they don't interfere with detaching the battery. We also need to turn off the display cable so that we don't accidentally damage it. Ok, we are prepared and can carefully detach the battery. As we can see, under the battery we have a transparent adhesive coating, which holds the battery, but doesn't protect anything, maybe discipline. Well, this is the end of our assembly, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you around. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.